and welcome back to my channel. I bought some lights. Um, and my eyebrows are looking a little crazy today. I don't know what's happening to them. Uh, I just, I hate eyebrows. I hate doing eyebrows. I used to love them. They, it used to be my favorite part of my routine. But I have such thick hair. I have such dark hair that it's just like, I'm sick of doing my eyebrows. So, this is what we're dealing with today. Um, but in today's video, I thought I would show you guys finally a full face of cream makeup. I have extremely dry skin. I also live in a desert. Um, I live in Arizona, so it's also very dry out here. So I have dehydrated skin as well. I do a lot in my skincare routine and nighttime in general, like sleeping with a humidifier to, you know, help my skin out as much as I can. But I'm just, I am dry and I suffer from eczema and all that good stuff. So cream makeup is a big plus for me. Um, it tends to wear really well on my skin and I just love the way it looks, honestly. So I am gonna show you guys my favorite kind of routine. And it's gonna be more of a little glam look. I know cream makeup can be very natural looking, which it still will be a natural kind of look just because of you know the nature of the products but I'm gonna try and jazz it up so let's let's do it all right before I go in I'm gonna take um, bubble wrap from Glossier this is an eye cream I love eye cream before makeup um, I love all eye cream all the time it is not a necessary product in your skincare you can get most of those benefits out of a good moisturizer but I'm crazy and I just like the feeling of it. I like buying eye cream. I don't know. Do what makes you happy. It's not hurting my skin. Just my wallet. So I'm gonna just, oh, you should pat. I, I Guys, I'm so bad. I always just like sit here and do this just because it feels like a massage, which I know you're supposed to like pat it in. Bear with me. After I go in with some eye cream, I'm gonna prep my skin. I have um, sunscreen on and all of my other little goodies that I use during the day. However, I do still like to prep my skin and I think I've kind of touched on this in other videos. Because of my dry skin, I really don't look for like crazy longevity um, with primers. I more so look for just hydrating my skin. I'm just a piece of dirt in this little desert so I go in with this guy right here this is the photo finish primerizer and you can take as much as you want probably not as much as I take um but yeah I am gonna do my little my eyelids I'm gonna go in with the Stila suede shade and this is in the shade nude awakening I love this stuff it really cancels out any like blue or red that I have underneath and it also works really well with other cream shadows which we're using today so I like to use it as a base then I recently picked up this guy this is the um, matte and metal melted shadows from Huda Beauty this is actually the first Huda Beauty product I've ever tried and I have been liking it I wore this eye look the other day and I got a ton of compliments also, um, when I'm using cream, I literally use my fingers or I will use a beauty blender, even on my eyes. I don't really use anything else and that's kind of the beauty of a cream product. And you can, if you want, I'll show you, if you would like, you can just get a blending brush. I need to clean my brushes, so bear with me. They're all kind of dirty, whatever. Um, and I will just buff it out. don't really go for like a crazy like shape or anything like that I call it like the lived-in look where it's like a tiny bit messy and that's just like personal preference you could totally like really get in there and get sharp lines if you want but with cream I don't know I just really love the way it looks and the way it wears when you kind of are not reckless but just you know a little careless with it um, there's obviously intention behind what you're putting on your face, but the nice thing about creams is it's just so easy. Like this look, if I don't talk you guys through it, no joke, it takes me like five minutes. I have oily skin. You 
you're gonna wanna use powders and stuff. But you know, there's plenty of videos out there in the world for people with oily skin. I'm gonna take, I was originally gonna use the shade Bright Eyes from Nude Stick, which I love and I'll show you. It's just like this really pretty, I guess taupe is the word, yeah, color taupey kind of shade. However, I got a travel size of the Laura Mercier um, caviar sticks and I hadn't picked any up and it's basically the exact same shade as Bright Eyes, just a tad bit deeper. Um, this is the caviar stick and then that is the nude stick. So I'm going to go in with this one which is a little deeper um, and test it out. And so I am just on the base of the lash line. This is not a liner. I am just swiping it on my eye and then I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna work it upward. And I don't find that these are like patchy at all. Like some cream shadows can get like pretty uneven and patchy. And these, um, have all been working really well together. I'm gonna take this. This is one of my favorite products of all time. This is the smudge stick from Stila. Um, and this is in the shade Spice. And I line the top line with this guy. Then you can use your finger or you can take like a little um, flat brush. This is a M124 from Morphe. And I just get that and I start working it in. the fun part this has been one of my favorite recent products I am going to talk more about these in an upcoming video um, but this is one of the palettes or like little quads from Rowan so I'm going to go in with if you're looking at it like this this kind of deeper bronzy shade a little trick I like to do with cream shadows is I stop a little bit before the crease. Cream shadows will stay like really emollient and they kind of move throughout the day. So just be aware of that. But I like to stop right before I get to my actual crease. If you mess up like I just did, you can just take your clean finger and kind of wipe it off. But I like to stop a little bit before my crease and I kind of blend away any excess and that helps kind of prevent any extra creasing you may get throughout the day. I like to go into the lightest one and I just cleaned off, like I wiped off any excess of the ex the other one. And I take this guy and I pop it right in the center of the eye and it just adds like a little bit of life in there. And you can take a little bit more of the smudge stick in the center of that lash line kind of round it out the bigger it is in the center of your lash line that's um, where you put your liner is kind of it'll help open up your eye so I don't know if you can see a difference with it being there but I'm just gonna smudge it out just a little bit okay I curled my lashes I'm not gonna do mascara just yet I'm gonna go work on my base a little bit I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer and I'm just gonna take it on the back of my hand start working it into my skin. I'm gonna go in for the first time with the Kosas concealer. I've been kind of putting off using this just because it's so yellow. And I am not a yellow undertone. I am not, you know, golden. I definitely have a peachy undertone. Okay, honestly, I'm just gonna use it on under my eyes and I'm gonna take a different concealer to conceal any redness. I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Ultra Long Wear con uh, Concealer for like my chin, a little on my forehead. And just the color, not a fan. So we're gonna bronze up our skin. I'm gonna use two products from Bare Minerals. It's a liquid bronzer. This is in the shade Faux Tan. It's like a nice sheen to it. The shade is beautiful. I believe it comes in one other color. And if you like the color, but you have oily skin. I believe they make it in a powder form. Um, and I've seen a lot of people talk about it and just like say really good things about it. So this was released last year, but this is my second bottle of this stuff because it is just, I'm not kidding. I went through it like crazy last summer and I just take it anywhere. I would take 
a normal bronzer just with a beauty blender instead of a brush. Just because I'm bougie and I want some extra shine on my face. I like to go in with the Tower 28 Bronzino and this is in the shade West Coast. There's also Best Coast, which was a little bit deeper. And I just take the lightest hand because this is like the all of the Tower 28 products are just super emollient and pigmented. I just kind of take a little bit and get it on my sponge. This is like a good motion that I like to do. And once it's on there, then I will go my cheeks and you can already see like a little bit of shine some shine and then just put this one on my cheeks and I'm going into the shade Fuego Flush from the Fenty Blush collection and just really coating it on that brush and I just start patting it on the center and this also has a sheen to it so it kind of just adds to that like summer reflect that I am going for I'm just Pop it on and it is very yellow based orange I just like it it is so unique I don't know you could definitely use like a muted blush uh, the tower 28 golden hour blush is perfect or something like super subtle uh, the, the cheek kiss from Milani these are great under the eyes I'm gonna take, I'm actually just gonna go in with that new Spix pencil because it was a little bit lighter. I'm gonna take this on the bottom lash line, not the water line, the bottom lash line. I'm just kind of smudge it with my finger. I'm also gonna um, tight line the water line. This is the shade brown from KKW and I'm just gonna run that in my water line. Something about all of the KKW pencils is, let's see, they like fall, the product falls into the actual pencil. So they should just make it a click pencil because they, the way they secure it, and ColourPop does this too. I think it's like the plasticky kind of material that they use to set it in. Just doesn't work. I don't know if that did much. I'm going to go in with some mascara. For the bottom lashes, as always, I'm going to be using the Gloss CA Lash Slick. And then, a combo I've really been loving are these two. This is the Milk Makeup Mascara, which is also a weapon. And then, um, because it's so, it's so heavy. But, uh, and then I like to top it off with the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes. I'm going to go in with the Kevin Aquan Unforgettable Lip Definer, and this is in the shade Divine. really love this lip pencil and then I take which is um, lighter than that shade this is from Patrick Ta this is in the shade she's humble I really love his lip liners they're like click pen and I kind of just blend the two together this has quickly 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 become my favorite lip gloss in the entire world I picked up the entire collection except for the one with glitter in it because I cannot get my hands on it. But once I get my hands on it, I know I'm gonna love it. This formula is just so unique. The way it feels on your lips is just so... Guys, it is that good. Um, so I just take this from Tower 28. This is their clear gloss in the shade Chill. And this is, they're called the Lip Jellies and that's what it feels like. And you put it on it's like a watery jelly consistency that's it lasts a long time and it just is so comfortable on your lips oh my god I really cannot say enough good things about this lip gloss it's like I don't know it is it's so perfectly beautiful I just can't say enough good things about this it's great so if you want if you want like a little like if you want your bottom lip to be a little bit fatter right at the very bottom take endless cacao
and it'll look like a black line. And then you just kind of smoke it in with your finger. And it creates like a shadow. So it just makes your lip look bigger. And you can also do that on the top. So I've really been loving this Pretty Fresh um, ColourPop spray. It does have hyaluronic acid in it. I actually tend to stay away from hyaluronic acid because I live in the desert and there's not a whole lot of moisture to pull from anyways. When I use products that have hyaluronic acid, it's usually obviously in skincare and I use it at night because I sleep with a humidifier, but I have been liking this and I don't think putting it on top of makeup really does much as far as hyaluronic acid goes. But yeah guys, super quick, super easy, and it just looks like you took a lot of time to do a makeup look that you didn't take any time at, at all. If you're afraid of cream products, don't be. Don't be. You can re achieve beautiful results with cream makeup. Okay, so that's gonna be it in today's video. I really appreciate you guys sticking through the whole thing. Also, I'm gonna leave my Instagram listed down below. Follow me on there, I post quite a bit on there now. I never used to and now it's just like I have a lot of fun on Instagram recently so follow me on there as well and I will see you in my next one bye guys